Welcome everyone. This is a discussion on antique uranium glass, also known as Vaseline glass. This little lecture is sponsored by Tharp Antiques. We're part of the Talbot Historical Society here in downtown Easton, Maryland. We're on the eastern shore of Maryland, located at 25 South Washington Street, part of the Talbot Historical Society campus. Let's begin our lecture by discussing this wonderful collectible glassware called uranium glass. You might have seen some of it online or heard people talking about it and wonder how you can start your collection. Let's just discuss some of the finer points of it and some of the details that will help you. Uranium glass is green and uranium is put into glass to color things green and yellow. That's its main purpose of adding it to it. But it has a nice side effect in that uranium which is in its oxidized form mixed into glass turns it green but it also does something else and let me show you the something else I'm using a standard black light coil bulb you can always go out into antique stores when you're looking for real uranium glass with a handheld UV light and uranium glass will glow the reason it glows is because it is fluorescing with the uranium inside the glass and sometimes it uh, fluoresces higher and sometimes lower depending on the content of the uranium in the glass anywhere from 2 to 25 percent. So if you're unsure take a handy dandy pocket light with you for UV purposes you can buy one online and you'll always know whether it's green glass or if it actually has uranium in it. Now what some people don't realize is that also depression glass does also have uranium in it and so sometimes it will glow as well. So always look and see just by taking a black light what's up with your glass. And I do feel that this is one of the main reasons uranium glass is so popular is that it does glow. You can put it in a beautiful cabinet and you'll really have that pop to it. So what is the history of uranium glass? Well it's also called Vaseline glass in that in the 1920s it reminded people of Vaseline that had recently come out on the market and it had that pale green glow. So sometimes when you hear that you'll think oh okay Vaseline glass must be something different. It's not. It's the same thing. You can see that there's different color variances in uranium glass again depending on how much uranium content is in that mixture. So you'll get more green, sometimes more yellow depending on the manufacturer as well. Now uranium glass was popular from the 1880s to the 1920s era. At the same time depression glass came into being in those 1920s and it was collected, it was popular, people were th thrilled by its coloring and uh, it kind of tapered off in the Cold War times from the 40s on into the 90s because uranium was also used to make atomic bombs so that was needed for military purposes so the production of uranium did slow down. Now there is a little bit of a misconception about uranium glass. It is not dangerous. It will sometimes beep and bleep on a Geiger counter but rest assured you will not get cancer from handling uranium glass. Now uranium glass has been around since earliest one that has recorded and been found as a piece in a mosaic from 79 AD in a Rome site where they dug up some uh, mosaic pieces and they did find a bit of uranium because through the test of time it has always been used to color glass to make it that nice brilliant green color. Now and it's a chemical process that happens with a coloring system but uh, it, you know, it yields wonderful results and again if you're out shopping for it in an antique store and they do not have a black light upon it, just take your own and have a quick look. That's the easiest way to determine what you're dealing with. There were many different companies and eras that made it. You'll find anything from toothpick holders to bowls to cups to platters. Here's a cake plate that you can see. Uh, you know, anything goes, any pattern goes, any variety goes, in all different shades and colors. So just be really discerning when you look. Look at the price points on it. Look at the condition. Make sure as if with any glass there are no flea marks or chips on the top or any kind of cracks in the glass just to determine its value. If you find good pieces, they do hold the value really well. When in doubt, look on eBay, type in uranium glass, and look at the mega popular pieces that are on there and the prices that they're going for and rest assured you'll know that you are having a good investment for this. Again, let me put the black light on it just to show you. So if you're out and about, shine that right on there. It will fluoresce and be extremely beautiful and you'll know that you have something absolutely wonderful and you can, you know, hold on to it. I believe that it will probably increase in value 
and it's something that you can pass along from generation to generation because it has a wonderful story. It's from a time long, long past with a method of adding color that no longer really is necessary due to modern standards. But if you think about it, um, what other thing do you know that you can have that you can put in a cabinet and fluoresce and make such a beautiful statement? So thank you again so much for watching this video and look for other videos on different kinds of glass because it is one of our passions here at Tharp Antiques. Thank you so much and have a great day.